Hello again, and welcome back to my art studio. This is Barbara Ryan, and I am an Impressionist landscape oil painter, and I'm going to show today a time-lapse video of a painting I did from a scene that I captured while walking on the riverbank of the Flathead River when I was visiting Montana. It starts with me painting over the charcoal drawing that I made on the canvas at the very beginning. I am using a very thin blue paint to show the lines and shadows that depict the variety of shapes that make up the composition. You can see even in this beginning drawing that the composition is mostly built upon triangles. The foreground land is a triangle and the river is separated by a sandbar that separates it into triangles. The trees on the far bank make a triangle and the mountains in the distance make triangles. So I have arranged all these triangles together to make a pleasing composition. Now here you can see I'm beginning to paint the clouds with some color. So let me talk a little bit while the video progresses about the colors that I've chosen. I chose a tetrad color scheme of red-orange, yellow-green, blue-green, and red-violet. To mix the red-orange, I will be using cadmium red light and cadmium yellow medium. To make yellow-green, I will be using the sap green and cadmium yellow. For blue-green, I will be using viridian green and phthalo blue. And the red-violet will be made with the cobalt violet mixed with a bit of the cadmium red. So I'm using six different tube colors. That's it. Again, those tube colors are cadmium yellow medium, cadmium red medium, viridian and sap greens, phthalo blue, and cobalt blue. So I will be using those tube colors to make all the colors within the composition. In this part of the painting, you can see I am putting the blue behind the clouds. I have mixed several values of this blue from light to dark, and I will be putting the lighter blue at the bottom, and then as it goes up towards the top of the painting, it'll be a little bit darker. That way the whole blue area is not so flat. If you mix in a variety of different values within that area, it makes it more interesting. When I start painting in the mountains here, you will notice I am using some of the same colors and values that I used for the sky area. Since the mountains are the furthest part of the composition, in order to visually keep them further away, I will use the same color and value that I used in the sky. And that way they won't pop out into the foreground and visually will be staying in the distance where they belong. Here I continue moving closer to the foreground 
and the center of interest which is the sandbar and the beached log. I will be using more vibrant color, more texture, and more detail as I go along. So those areas will stand out and lead the eye into the painting. I'm now going to let the video progress on its own without comments. I will continue moving into the painting with color and texture towards the foreground and final brush strokes. Enjoy!
I'm now at the end of the painting, putting in the grasses on the riverbank and adding any finishing touches. You can see I have an area of dark shadow and an area where the sunlight is hitting closer to the water. Other than that, it's just basic linear brush strokes. Impressionistic, yet showing that it is a grassy riverbank. Sometimes impressionistic brush strokes can be even better than trying to put in specific details. For me, it's definitely more fun. We as artists can sometimes let our viewer decide what they're looking at without trying to paint every tiny little blade of grass and other detail. I believe that's a big part of the impressionistic method, showing light, texture, and beautiful color within our own artistic vision. My hope is that after watching this video, you become inspired to try this impressionistic method. Get out your paints and do a beautiful landscape. Here's a finished painting sitting on my easel with a close-up so you can see some of the brush strokes. I'm calling it River Walk and it is 24 by 24 inches, oil on canvas. Till next time, happy painting.